Okay. Uh, so I'm going to play Toy Boss now. For the first time in a long time. So let's start. Yeah, um, just working out how long I can go for, how long I can do the video for, but then again, I probably won't last, um, half an hour anyway, so, um, yeah, before I run out of lives and all, so, yeah, this is the level, this is the level I was doing last time I played, and, as you can see, I'm doing very well. I'm nice and pleased to write out this move, even. Yes. That was... That was... That was great, wasn't it? When you think of how... How I didn't manage to do it the last time I played. Yes, that's... I'm a... I'm a legend. Yeah. Okay. Now answer, 237. Now answer, 237. Which I came fifth on how to my friends last time. So, on we go. Looks a bit taxing. Looks a bit taxing, doesn't it? With not much room to manoeuvre the, the boxes and all. And the... With the bricks being um, all up close, uh, all um, constrictive of my movements and all. And these pigs uh, take more than one hit. And I probably said that um, in the past with my old videos. It's just I can't remember offhand exactly um, with how it was uh, so long ago and all. I'm quite, getting quite good at getting the Rubik's cubes to, next to each other, and I don't know if I should have put that much effort into it, though, without, without, um, I've got to hit the pigs twice and all in order to get rid of them. Yeah, not going to have enough, um, moves to do it. Shame with how I did so well and all. Still, we can always try. Can always, can always try again. Need to remember I don't have as, I don't have all that many moves this time as well. So I won't be putting in a lot of moves trying to get um, two Rubik's cubes together and all. Although I tend, oh, oh, sometimes I just can't resist. Oh. Yeah, so I have to be a bit Making the yellow boxes into TNT, into TNTs with the um, Rubik's Cube, yeah. Rather satisfying when the coins fly everywhere when you smash the Piggy banks, isn't it? Not looking too good for our dollars, it's unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think we can possibly do it. Yeah. So at least, um, at 
least is pretty generous with um with how the with the positions that the boxes start up on this level. So it's quite easy to arrange them into um into big groups and all so you can get power ups from them. That's often the secret to success on on, on the um more advanced levels in this game to get the boxes together into big groups so that you can um, combine power so that you can make power ups and then combine them together. Oh no, it's not looking very good again, is it really? I don't remember this level being so hard in the past. Oh well. Must be getting pretty close to running. Must be getting pretty close to running out of lives now as well. For all in all, my. For all in all, my only have two lives left or so. Assuming that uh, you start out with five and all. Oh. Don't tell for sure, but it sounds like it might be raining outside. Be promising now, maybe. Oh, yeah, that was uh, certainly a good maneuver, I think. Yeah, it's only two more picks to get now. And just like that, I win once more. Attempts yielded better scores than that, but no matter. So, onto 238, which I came first on the previous time. Looks broken a bit. Without, there's no boxes in these uh, surrounding areas, oh, but you've just got to make a move, haven't you? in order to trigger them all to fall through like they just did. Having a hard time getting that TNT box next to the Rubik's Cube there on so I but now I've managed it. Ideally I am. Not bad. <laughs> Only got one pick to go now. Hopefully this propeller will be aiming downward. Yes, I win once more. There's a relief. Because <laughs> usually I find that when you when when your success at a level is 
dependent on the direction a propeller is going to be facing, it'll usually be facing the way you don't want it to. Okay, level, level 239 now. I think I've been playing for ten, 10 minutes or so, and I came third on this score sheet. Just dealing with my OCD. So yeah, let's uh, get on with it, shall we? Now this looks nice with all the Easter eggs everywhere, doesn't it? With the cute bunny rabbit patterns on them and all. Always satisfying, I think, hitting multiple Easter eggs at a time and seeing the little bits of paper fly everywhere. I suppose that's um, what one of the things that makes a good game in a way when it's when it's um, satisfying to um, do things that are conducive to success in the levels and um, just generally in regards to the uh, directives and uh, missions and quests and whatever it is you have to do. Yeah. And yet when I was young I always used to kind of underestimate the the appeal of satisfaction in games, whereas now I can really understand what an important um, aspect to gaming develop gaming development gaming development that is. So yeah, if I hold that time, so we'll have to replay it. I think I've only got one more life now, sadly. And I won't be getting another as well either because um, I think it takes half an hour for a life to replenish and um, and obviously I'm not going to be playing for half an hour since my videos. Uh, I only allow my videos to get to about half an hour or so before I stop playing you see. Okay, I might have a chance of hitting all of the Easter eggs now with the sheer amount of red boxes everywhere, so let's go. Um, a great result. But not bad either. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna do this level two. Yay. The scales haven't been all that great lately, don't I? Can't remember if that score was better than my last one, but it has got me in second place at least. So, on to 240 now. That was definitely 239 a day, I did, think, yes. So now on to 240 we go. I'm making surprisingly decent progress this time, aren't I? Don't think I've done five levels or so in quite a while now. Just trained. Ah, there's a better opportunity. Two Rubik's Cubes together. I love the animation of that shockwave that um, 
spreads out in a in a in a spherical shape from when the um, from when you combine the two um, Rubik's cubes. Quite satisfying indeed, I think. Okay, now it's near enough just the bubbles we've got to get rid of at the sides here. So I've done this again. <laughs> so now we're on to the next part of the map, aren't we? And yeah, just doing rich OC. Just do. Just doing OCD rituals. Yeah, so now on to this next section of the map, um, which seems to have a very futuristic theme to it with aliens and robots and, and computer screens, which reveal, uh, with robots at the computer screens and consoles revealing that these outer space machines must be spying on us playing Toy Blast. But personally, I think they're just watching me, wanting to learn the solutions to the levels from me. After all, my, sup my superhuman intellect is probably greater than machine intellect, after all. But, with the preamble aside, it's time we continued on our mission to um, complete all the levels, yeah. My mum came first on this level. So, yeah, so let's continue. Uh... Ah, uh, so this level has cages with easter eggs trapped in them. I suppose that comes in handy for if there's fat people like me around who are going to be wanting to to eat all the easter eggs. Um, uh, or like, uh, like fat people like me who want to make midnight raids on the uh, pantry in the house. Uh, you need to make sure you're always guarding the pantry when I'm around, you see. This is feeling a bit awkward, isn't it? With these, with the arrangement of these boxes and all. I'm starting to look like I won't do it even. And again, I suppose you can't win all of them. Yeah, just too much of a slow start there, even though I was doing well in the end. I... Okay, so that's the... Okay, so that's the end of the video, everyone. So I'll see you all next time. And try not to get too bored while you're waiting for my next video, everyone. Bye, friends and family alike. Bye.